Leafy Green Marketing Agreement has recently adopted some new water standards that we think is a huge step forward. We've worked closely with them to share data. We're excited to see the LGMA validate the programs we've been putting in place over the last several years. Working with growers like Jerry Rabo, we're able to put strategies in place to help validate our process. I've been growing for potato farms for over 24 years. They were a very small company back then, and they've grown quite a bit. I like to think that we've grown with them. The reason why I like growing for potato farms is they take food safety very serious. Part of our risk management process is to monitor our environment. Several years ago, we noticed that we were starting to see dangerous pathogens in some of our irrigation water. There was one circumstance where I had three positives in one field. So we tested the soil, we tested the spinach, but finally I tested the residual water that was inside this river pipe. And lo and behold, I had a perfect match. The water comes out of the Colorado River and is directed down a main canal. The water is then directed toward lateral canals that feed particular areas of the ranch. This only made sense to me that this had to be the culprit of our situation. Jerry Rava played an integral role in helping us take our research and really put it into practice. It only makes sense that we need to treat the water to a drinking water standard. And we needed to find something that was organically approved. We did a lot of research. What we had come up with was chlorine dioxide. Sodium chloride and hypochloric acid, once they're mixed together, they create magic. Once the booster pump starts pumping the water, the chlorine dioxide is immediately turned on and is treating the water as it goes into the field. This water is then tested. Continuous improvement is a big part of our culture here at Taylor Farm, so we can be confident that the water being used to irrigate our products is clean before it touches the product itself. The water that comes out of the wells is perfectly good in the Salinas Valley. It is drinkable water. The water is pumped out of the ground, travels two miles to this reservoir. Once it's exposed to the elements, there is a risk, and we want to eliminate that risk. Our reservoir is lined with plastic. It also has a fence around it. It also has a screen below the fence. Birds are also a source of contamination. Now we've got these sound devices. As an additional step, above and beyond, we treat the water as it's coming out We've been doing this now for five years whenever we're irrigating a crop that is being overhead irrigated. We don't hold back on the cost or the investment to make sure that we gain that trust with our consumers. It's really paid off in the last few years. We've been able to take food safety to a different level. Tater Farms is always on the cutting edge of food safety. That has taught me to become a better farmer when it comes to providing a safe product.